is more on YouTube. Adrian back here for another video. So, just want to quickly show you what I've done here. Um, so, on this one, I'm just capping for now. And uh, later today, I'll finish it up all the way up. But I need the aluminum to get finished on that side first. But, um, video uh, pretty easy floor uh, bigger floor uh, but I guess we'll start in the basement um, I'll never show you guys a video about the walkout um, one thing you'll notice here is that the steel beam is sticking out it's tight all the way to the foundation there and was about to start chipping and uh, the measurements actually worked out for the bearing wall that's going over the steel so i thought i'd leave it proud on this side um these posts i believe there's five of them one two three four five uh they're all fixed posts so that's why you're seeing these t-braces and then this temporary column um, obviously these posts will all be different and uh, they've since been ordered this wall here is the bearing wall 2x6 um, looking back I uh, since the sunken floor is 2x8 12 inch on center probably should have just made this wall 12 inch on center although it does call for 16 on center that way I just uh, do a stud and a jack type thing for each. This kind of looks a little nicer than what you're seeing. But either way, I'll have to knock out this two by four ledger. And that's just there temporarily. Um, this is kind of nice because it is 15 inch down. So um, the way the floor is with the 11 and seven eighths and the three, um, 15 inches down works perfectly just underneath the second top plate so that's that um, another wall here just in the jog same idea just center blocks poly wrapped up all the way around I put two layers of poly um, on these walls to go half and half that way gives a better wrap um, this wall here is fire break same with this wall because it's a two by six sill it's a, not an issue when it comes to bearing what else um, unless I'm told otherwise I always make I always go uh, bump into the rim 22 and a half and then over for my window just got in the habit of doing that and then I just cut 22 and a half inch blocks for there I had to play around a little bit here straighten out the floor otherwise the floor is pretty straight um, for the landing so what they want here now is two inch rigid foam going right up the back against the concrete. So basically a floating landing. So what I've done here to add strength, just temporarily, is I put an E-wall, but I also strap this out um, at the top, put 11 and 7 eighths block, and then a two by six, about 50 inches. Same thing on this side whatever the measurement was. I think it was uh, two inches plus 50. And then that way I got a good solid starting point and then go off that. I always uh, run the plywood out uh, where the string is gonna hit. And if they need to, they can cut it later. Also what I got in the habit of doing is um, putting temporary two by fours these are just three footers, 
but uh, just in case between now and when the floor gets poured that uh, they get shifted, then I don't have to worry about it this way. Once again, I wrap this up. Christmas present. Come upstairs. stairs. Right here, they want them flush. So just give a ledger underneath. 60 on center. So I think I went over this in my last video, but the easiest way to frame this stair opening, as long as they give you a longer LVL, is to run it all the way through. I think if you can see, it was used to be nailed over there. And then once you straighten out your floor, you put this post. And once that post is in, you just cut it out. And it creates a nice jog and it keeps everything uh, tight and square. And what else? Guys, just things to consider when you're building floors. Obviously, you always want to think about the plumbing. So right there, I got a toilet. 13 inches away from that two by four wall. So you always wanna make sure, don't just chance it guys, cause moving joist sucks. Also right here, they're gonna have a two by four wall going right through. She might be two by six, I forgot. Um, so the way the joist worked out is 16 off here, but that would be way too close cause they're gonna put a heat run more than likely right in this corner. So always make sure in cases like that, you leave that last stud away. So there's room for the heating guide to do whatever he has to do. That's about it really. Um, guys always remember inline framing all the way up. If you start from, in this case, the right side, then keep with the right side with everything. All right, guys, that's about it for now. I'm about to start another house um, just down the road. I just need the bricklayers to finish framing, uh, or sorry, bricklaying up the one side. And then I'll get going. Anyways, guys, hope you had a great day. Take care and uh, bye for now.